Hi there, and welcome to another episode of the Bionic Watercolorist. And uh, what I'd like to talk about today is paper. So we're going to have a quick discussion about paper and watercolor paper. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, uh, but... I think here here we go. So this is your sheet of just regular photocopy paper. And you'll notice it's very thin. Okay, it's got very little texture. And uh, if you can see it, you know, the pa it's just regular paper. If you get this wet, it's not going to hold up because it doesn't have any weight. It doesn't have any thickness to it. So this... is a sheet of watercolor paper. Now, as usual, I'm not getting paid by any particular outfit to do this program. But, so the brands, if I suggest a brand it's usually because I, I like it or, but this I like, okay. Windsor Newton make a, you know, they make a good paper. It's good paper and it's, you know, I mean, I don't know what one of these costs by your place. I know what I buy them for. And they're about, you know, probably between eight and ten bucks for a 30 by 32. That's the dimensions of that. Now, this is 22 by 30. I got that wrong. So, can we see that? Hang on. So this is the uh, so now what this means is is that uh, this has a weight. Okay, so this here is a 140 pound paper. Now, generally speaking, there's two thicknesses. There's 300 and there's 140. 300 you know, is about an eighth of an inch, which is like crazy. I've used it, but it's really, really thick. This you can tell has some stiffness to it. And so, this sheet can become your big canvas, 
And uh, if you're going to do a watercolor painting with that, what we're going to talk about is this paper is made in such a way that it could withstand being wetted. So what I'm going to show you is what we call wet mounting. So now this may be difficult in today's with today's time because you know obviously you know the box stores and stuff aren't uh, aren't open right now. That is cat hair. Um, but um, so what we're doing is we're wetting the board, okay? And then we're getting it soaked, soaking it in, in a warm water for about 20 minutes. And then what we're doing is putting it on a board. Now, these boards are pre-cut. Usually this is called OSB board oriented strand board. And, uh, you know, it's a cheap, it's the cheapest that you're going to get. Don't use, uh, you know, uh, particle board or anything like that because uh, it's too hard. This stuff works really well. You don't have to use plywood. Um, but I have a big piece. If you go to a box store, they usually have one of those big saws that they put up against the wall and you can get them cut so that you know this is one piece of wood it's about two inches bigger than the paper so this is what you need if you're going to paint you know a whole if you're going to paint the whole thing then uh so what I did, I'm working on a project and um, it's a football field. And so this has to get, uh, I, I'm just working on this other project. So uh, what I wanted to do was just show you that. No, let's go back to the paper. Of course, I keep drawing this thing. So, when we, the other way of doing this is we want to fold this into quarters so that we can use four of these and the standard size will be 11 by 15. So we're going to just take these and line them up Always get the factory edge together and make sure it's nice. Go down the center. And then go out. Now, this is going to be stapled, so you don't need to eat or worry about that. Now, one thing I will tell you, and I've had it happen to me, 
Don't touch the paper with the oils on your hand. Don't, this has got a coating on it right in here. And if you touch that, you could ruin the painting. And I've seen it, I've done it, uh, and in the middle of it, there's a big thumbprint. It, it is just unbelievable. So, I, I used to tear them, but I don't do that anymore because one time I wrecked it and uh, you know using a set of scissors is not a big deal. So now we got two And there you go. Let's see how good we are. That is pretty good. So all four of those, I didn't measure any of them. And I pretty well now have four sheets. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet mount these, meaning I've got four separate pieces of wood of o OSB board that are just bigger than that painting. And I'm going to wet mount them and that's what we're going to talk about in the next episode of The Bionic Watercolorist.